Hello guys, it's Unit 3, Part G. Hello guys, today's topic is Diagnosis of Pregnancy in Second Trimester. Second Trimester includes 13 to 28 week. This is nothing but from 3rd month to 6th month. It also includes subjective and objective data. Subjective data is nothing but the signs and symptoms that is expressed by the patient the complaints that we receive from the patient is considered as subjective and the complaints or the signs and symptoms that is present in these three months according to signs according to OBG is known as objective. Subjectively we can see three things that is amenuria, uterus enlargement, quickening. Amenuria is nothing but the absence of menstruation and uterus enlargement is visibly seen in these three months that is from the third month to sixth month we can see uterus enlargement and quickening. Quickening is nothing but the fetal activity. Sudden fetal activities can be seen, can be observed. By placing your arm on the womb, you can feel the fetus movement. If the mother is premigravida, premi means first, first time. Gravida means pregnant. If the mother is first time pregnant, this is her first pregnancy, then the quickening will be felt at 18th week. Multigravida in the sense if the mother has already a child, this is a second or third pregnancy. Then the quickening is seen around 16th week. For premigravida it is around 18th week. For multigravida it is around 16th week. Now objective. In objective first is colasma. Colasma is nothing but the pigmentation that is around the face. In faces there are some patchy like pigmentations that is kind of brownish in color or reddish in color. You can see around the head and forehead. Next secondary areola. Secondary areola in the sense in first uh, trimester you can see there is a pigmentation around the areola. That pigmentation keeps spreading. There is an another circle of pigmentation and this pigmentation is known as secondary areola. Linea nigra. Linea nigra is nothing but the line mark or the stretch mark that is found from the umbilical to the sympathesis pubis. This you can see in the skin changes. Braxton Hicks contraction. Braxton Hicks contraction is nothing but irregular or uh, infrequent or painless contraction which is felt in the mother. Once it may last for 20 seconds, once it may last for 10 seconds. So it doesn't have any uh, correct frequency. It doesn't have any time and it is painless. If you place your arm, you can actually feel the contraction. And this is also known as false labor pain or false labor contraction. Next, fetal movement. Fetal movement is nothing but this is quickening. In science, we say it as fetal movement. Fetal movement, you can feel by placing your arm on the uterus laterally. Abdominal change. Abdominal change is nothing but uterus enlargement. How the uterus is being enlarged, in which week, at what stage the uterus is enlarged, we are going to see here. In 16th week, the uterus will be present in between sympathesis pubis and umbilical. And this is umbilical, this is sympathesis pubis. In this between, that is... In 16th week, the uterus will be expanded this length. And in the 20th week, the uterus will be expanded and it will be present just below the umbilicals. Just below the umbilical, then the distance between this is 2.5. In 20th week, the uterus will be expanded just below the umbilical in the distance of 2.5 cm. And at the 24th week, the um, uterus will be exactly at the umbilical level. If there is a question like at which week the uterus is expanded exactly to the umbilical level that is 24th week and next the 28th week at the 28th week the level of uterus is above the umbilicus see this is 28th week and this is umbilicus this is above the umbilicus so at the 28th week the uterus will be expanded above the umbilicus and in these conditions and in this period, you can actually see two types of sounds. While examining, you can find two types of sounds. One is uterine sound and other is fetal sound. And this is about second trimester. Questions will be provided at the end of the chapter. Until then, stay tuned. Meet you in the next video.